Today, I'm joined by Kim Crockett of the Bee Fisher Foundation to discuss their color run happening this Friday at Bud Miller Park. So to start, what is the Bee Fisher Foundation? So the Bee Fisher Foundation, Josh, it's an arm of the entire Bee Fisher group of companies here in Lloydminster. And the role of the foundation is twofold. The first is to bring awareness and understanding to the, the public of the sort of work that the Bee Fisher Center does on behalf of individuals with developmental disabilities. And then the second part that we do is we do fundraising to provide um, funds to cover capital expenses and improvements that benefit the lives of the individuals that we provide care for. Now, could you just give a brief explanation of what the Color Run is? So the Color Run is something we've been doing for, um, with the exception of last year when uh, so many nonprofits just like ourselves had to take a, a significant break from our usual fundraising activities. Um, we're back this year. This is about our eighth year of doing the Color Run. And what it is, it's an opportunity to bring the community and individuals in our care together uh, for just a really great time at the park. It's uh, the actual run itself. It's a 5K run through Bud Miller Park. It starts and finishes at the pic picnic shelter. And throughout the run, there's going to be um, some color stations where we have some uh, fantastic volunteers going to be tossing some powdered color at runners as they go by, just to add to the excitement of it. Uh, and then back at the uh, picnic shelter itself, uh, when the race is all done, um, there's going to be music provided by first class entertainment, some snacks, beverages, and just a, an enjoyable evening in the park. And it's a very family friendly event, people of all abilities and uh you know, you know, skill sets, they can all enjoy an evening like this. Uh, it's not so much a race as it's just a time to get together and you can run it or walk it as quick or as slow as you like. And how many participants are you expecting for this year's event? Well, we were... Um, we were optimistic that we would get into at least a couple hundred people. We were just a little bit unsure um, how many people might show up after taking a break for a year. And we recognize there's still some health concerns going on within, uh, not just in the community, but within our, you know, both of our provinces. Uh, but right now the response has been fantastic and we're well over the 200 mark. And then, so what will the funds from this event be used for? Uh, what we're looking to do is we want to have funds available when uh, special needs arise uh, with our individuals. Maybe it's mobility needs, maybe it's a new ramp, maybe it's a, a lift system in a home. Um, when these needs arise, and they do, uh, we want to make sure that we have the funds available uh, at that time, and then we can respond right away once that need is presented, as opposed to having to go to the community or to try to raise the funds for uh, whatever that particular need is. And so the color run, uh, it's intended to raise funds for those types of purposes. So we have the funds available right away. And for this year, what's your fundraising goal? We did have a target that uh, if we could raise uh, close to $15,000 after all the expenses were said and done, uh, we would be really pleased with that. And uh, there's still registrations coming in even right now. And uh, so we're not going to know exactly where we stand until tomorrow evening. But uh, like I say, the registrations are still coming in and there's still plenty of opportunity for people to register right up until uh, tomorrow morning online. And then if... Uh, for whatever reason, they aren't sure if they can participate until closer to the event itself. They can still actually register uh, at the Bud Miller Park uh, just prior to the event, which starts at six o'clock. And where would be the best place to find any extra information or to register for this event? So the best place right now is to go onto our website and that's uh, simply www.bfisher.com. There is a link that'll take you to your, our uh, color run page. It'll give people all the information that they need about it. Um, you can register, sign up for your t-shirt. If you're with a group, you can sign up yourself and a number of other people all at the same time, pay for your registration. It takes care of everything right there on the spot. And like I say, if uh, for some reason somebody uh, just can't decide until closer to that moment, uh, they can certainly come to the park. It's cash only at the park. Um, there will be people starting to gather shortly after five o'clock and the run itself, it actually starts uh, pretty much sharp right at six o'clock tomorrow. And uh, should just put in one little plug, our uh, longtime friend in this area, Kurt Price, will be our uh, MC for the evening. So we're looking forward to what sort of entertainment he can add to the whole event as well. Well, thanks for taking the time and good luck with your event. Hey, thank you so much, Josh. Thanks for taking the time to find out a little bit more about what we're doing.